Is he, is he burning paper? Welcome back everyone to another episode of The Beholder or Beholder. I'm, I'm not sure if it's The Beholder or just Beholder. Well, Beholder 1. 2016 game that came out in 2016. <laughs> We're back in trying to save Martha with blackmail and, and other stuff. Anyway, let's hope more good stuff happens in today's episode. We're currently at $5,445. Yeah, that's dollars. Yeah. Anyway, let's see what happens. So be right back. I mean, well, let's enjoy the show or something. Yay. All right, shit, this is a new thing. Um, <clears throat> I guess before I didn't ask the doctor if he had an aspirin for the time when, you know, the first time says Martha is sick. So let's ask him. All right, uh, good day, Aloysius. Aloysius, there must be a proper, better way to say that. Do you have any aspirin? Why does everyone like, oh wait, did I ask this before? Why does everyone like the, these pills? Can you obtain these medications? Oh, I think we've actually said this before. Ah, oh, crap. I have to go to the hospital, yeah. And what, what's this? Like when you stop by to talk. I heard there's an accident in the northern mines. I heard there are victims. This isn't in the newspapers yet. Oh, okay. Nice. Anyway, uh, I guess be right back until something important does happen. Oh, ooh, we got a quest from Ellen Eloysis. Uh, or ask what he wants. Can I help you? We're so happy we decided to get married. Do you hear me? Eloysis is getting married. Can you imagine? I bought cruise tickets to the southern shore for our honeymoon. All thanks to you. But I have a request. I want to make Sarah a gift. But I don't know. I don't know her very well. I don't even know what she likes. Can you ask around about her? Okay. I owe you. And I'll definitely treat you to a slice of chicken innard pie. It's delicious. <laughs> okay. All right. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. Hello, Sarah. Mm -hmm. Hello, dear. Oh, discuss Eloysis. Oh, do you like Eloysis, Sarah? I adore him, Carl. Trust me. Oh. No. Oh, that's nice. Waha. Uh -huh. All right, yeah, we got the uh, we got the canned food money. Nine for my money, as agreed. Canned food isn't selling well, yeah. How much is this again? Money envelope. Okay, there we go. That's okay. You know why? Because we're not gonna talk to that man. We're just gonna ignore him all the way to the end. It's all we will do. We will ignore him. Nice. All right, we can talk about Sarah with some people. I'd like to talk about Sarah. Illinois is a um, friend. I don't know what to say. She spends a lot of time in the kitchen. All right, also she loves flowers. She recently told me she could buy them every day, but she spends everything on groceries because she can't allow Illinois to eat junk. <laughs> All right, interesting. Interesting. Oh wait, shit. Yeah. Can we talk to this person about aspirin? Do you know where I can buy aspirin, Rosa? I don't know, dear, but uh, I was given this in the hospital. Do you have aspirin? Can you give me the pills, Rosa? Can you ask? You can ask me for anything you want in return. My daughter's sick. What do you want? Weather's nasty. Bring me a cardigan, then. Alright, uh, too late. I already bought aspirin. I hope my husband doesn't take the pills before you return. Well, wait, no. I wanted to talk to you about... Ah! Other person, tell me about Sarah. Uh, I want to uh, want to talk about your niece, Sarah. I haven't seen her in three months. Doesn't she live with Eloysis? She's Sarah too, but she's not mine. You m mix them up, Carl. What? Your Sarah isn't good enough to dust our Sarah's shoes. Our Sarah is a cut above yours. Your Sarah is no is no match for our Sarah. Our Sarah, I see, Rosa. That's nice. Where was I? Oh, right. Uh, she's not my niece. Wow. Then who's that lady that moved in with our doctor? You're a state worker, Carl. Do you have you, you have got papers, directives, and a big red phone? Can't you call someone and find out? I see. Uh, you know a lot about my job. <laughs> We've seen it all, dear. It's a shame we haven't seen our Sarah in a so long. Oh crap. 
All right, end conversation. But uh, yeah, we already got a thing for what you got. Yeah, uh, found Asrin. Yep, there you go. Oh, what's this? Oh no! Don't you? This is about goddamn what happened. Okay, no, nice girl. Okay, good. Whew. Yep. All right. Uh, give money mm, for things. Flowers. Woohoo! Oh, nice, we can request data. On what data should I base my request? Report first and last name. Wait. No violations, banned items turned in. Three, no fines. Papers okay, job kindergarten teacher. Civil reliability, seven out of 10. Special control, not required. Nearest relatives, Augustine Watermark and Rosa Rennick. Oh. Oh shit. Man, I mean, isn't this. Don't I have enough? <clears throat> don't I have enough? Oh, wait, shit. That's right, crap. We can blackmail. We can blackmail. We can blackmail this person. Uh, right, blackmail. It is for this person, right? Yeah. Alright, uh, to Jacob. Open an address. Apartment 4. Oh shit. Uh, soda. 6040. From. Uh, the year 4th of September. Alright. Boom. You better give me goddamn money. Alright, and this is. Uh, how may I help? Oh, no, it's just groceries. Okay. Nice. Okay. Is he burning paper? Okay, shit, so... Hmm. Um... Not sure what the hell I'm supposed to do here. She loves flowers, she loves cooking. But there's also, she's not... That she's not Sarah. She likes cooking? She's a good cook. All you need to do to find this out will stop by for dinner. In any case, I've made my decision, Carl. I'd be very grateful if you help me with my wedding. Sarah needs a veil. Oh my. Crap. Find a veil for Sarah. Let's talk about veil first. Do you know where I can get a veil for Elosi's wedding, darling? I have an extra curtain. I can make it. Oh, great idea. Oh, nice. Oh, shit. Okay, now I, I can't speak with her anymore. Woohoo. Oh, yes. And... Give me some good goddamn money. Yeah, I know you placed the money here. It's mine. Take. Nice. And also, let's go back in here. And what can we do? Search again. All right, now let's talk to Anna again. Was it about the veil? Did you make the veil, honey? Here, I hope they like it. No. Oh, that's nice. Wow, it looks like it was professionally made. You should have been a designer. I had a choice, be a designer or marry you. And what did you choose? <laughs> what the hell? All right, uh, learn about what happened. Martha feels worse, Carl. Aspirin didn't help. She needs a doctor, find a doctor. Okay, don't you want uh, to take Ma Don't you want to take Martha to the doctor? We visited her doctor already. Yeah, we already, uh, why am I talking about this? We already know it. Hello, Illinois. Uh, talk about the veil. You asked for a veil. Sarah definitely needs it. It's white and lacy. Here, what do you think? She's wonderful. Thank you. I respect. I respected you before, too. But now I'll worship you and make my colleagues and acquaintances at the ministry just like you. Nice. Also, yeah, uh, talk about Marth. Oh, we can talk about the wedding. I took care of everything. Great. Let's get together in two days. I'll talk with the neighbors. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have become the happiest man in the world. I feel like singing and dancing naked in the moonlight. What are you talking about, Illinois? <laughs> the very thought of those crazy college parties don't mind me, Carl. Thankfully, I'm not a student anymore. So I think singing will be enough. Nice. Also, yes, uh, Martha's illness. My daughter is sick. Can you examine her? Of course, I'll examine her. It's my duty. I'm a doctor. Nice. 
Hello. Also, let's ask the Mrs. To Be. Hello. What do you think about the wind? Oh, what? Oh, nothing. Huh, interesting. Let us now report the sailor and not send Mr. and Miss, what do you call it, away. <laughs> Alright, write report. Mr. Mr. No. Wait, what? Yeah, Jones? Why can I not report him? Write a report. Number four. Why can I not report him? That is strange. I can't report the man. He just will have to leave. Oh, wait. Illinois has a quest. What's going on? Why can I see this? Never allowed me to see this before. Oh! Oh! <gasps> what? Oh. Oh my god. Did she poison him? <gasps> Holy shit. But I need him to. You, what did you do? Crying? What did you do? Alex is dead, my sweetie pie, my heart is forever broken. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. Also, this is probably what Carl talked about what happened. If you cannot agree with the doctor, Carl, I'll take Martha to the doctor. The person in line suggested this. He's a professor. Don't panic, Anna. There is no this is no ordinary flu. This is something else. I can feel it in my bones. What the hell happened? He just died. What the hell? Alright, Anna and Martha are going to the doctors. Where's your goddamn soda pop? I wanna steal it. So I can place it in other people's rooms. Alright, there. Remove this so that I'm not in range of what do you call it? Security cameras, of course. So I'm not seen. As turns out, the Ministry of Order sees everything. Steal the goddamn soda. And now place it back. I've already blackmailed this person twice. That's good. <laughs> Alright, um, can I talk to the Ministry about... Oh crap, I can't. About this person being an imposter. Alright, I'm blackmailing Klaus. He has... What are these? Just books? What was that? Alright, 6042. And it is of September 2. Apartment number 1? Is that apartment number 1? Yeah. Alright. Boom. Blackmail time. So, what are you doing here, son? It's fail to talk about the mines, learn what happened. Are you in trouble university, son? Oh crap, okay, this is the, what, 15k? 15k, goddamn! That is just goddamn. Oh, oh, Anna! Anna's back. What, Carl? Talk about Patrick. What do you think about Patrick going to school, Anna? Should I give him? Yeah, but we already know about this one. But, uh, how about learn what happened? Martha and I paid a visit to a professor. He's a child specialist. Things are bad, Carl. He said it's pneumonia with several side effects. She has a terrible infection in her lungs. Damn! Where did it come from? I don't know. Maybe this is because we live in the basement. Maybe because of the nearby mines. What should I do? She will need to be under the constant care of a doctor. They perform too many tests on children and use rare anti antibiotics. Martha might even need surgery. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. Um. 
this is a... This might be... A, we need to go back in time. And maybe report... And, well, save the doctor. We gotta save the doctor and report uh, the fake lady. Goddamn. Anyway, actually, first... Yeah, uh, oh my god. Yeah, holy shit, that is a lot. But, yes, this is where I have to leave us all off. The next, we're gonna go back in time again and save the doctor now. In order to save... Well, everyone else. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Goodbye. Holy crap.